uh, we would like to provide you with an update on pharma regulatory issues in Russia. First, we will speak about the recent uh, government regulations related to use of patent with no uh, consent of the right holders. Mm -hmm. Just to um, remind you, Russia is a member of the Eurasian Union and a part of a single pharmaceutical market. The circulation of medicines in Russia is therefore regulated by national laws and by special regional laws. At the same time, during COVID-19 pandemic, the importance of national regulation by president and the government have raised. Thus, on December 31st, 2020, a Russian government issued the order which allowed a Russian generic company uh, to use invention on the remdesivir-related patents owned by Gilead. Such use is permitted until January 1st, 2022 without the consent of the patent holder, but subject to payment of commensurate compensation. In justifying the decision, Russian government referred to the uh, articles uh, 31 and 31 base of TRIPS, but the procedure for compensation payment to Gilead is yet to be approved. On December 15, 2020, in the first reading, the Russian State Duma approved amendments to the Civil Code Patent Law Chapter. Amendments relate to the use of invention in case of health emergencies. According to the current wording of the law, uh, it is already possible to use the invention without the consent of the right holder in the interest of defense or security of the state. However, uh, if the amendment will uh, be approved, uh, these situations will also cover cases of emergencies related to the life and health of citizens. Second, we'd like to talk about the ongoing review of the amendments related to uh, compulsory licenses for expert purposes under 31 b of TRIPS. Russian Parliament will consider in other draft law amending the patent law chapter 72 of the Civil Code this February. The amendments would allow Russian government to authorize use of patents for expert of medicines on the conditions stipulated in 31 b of TRIPS. Under TRIPS, just as a reminder, a compulsory license may only be permitted if, prior to such, to such use, the user has made attempts to obtain a permission from the right holder on reasonable commercial terms, whatever it be, and such attempts have failed. However, Russia may waive such requirement in the event of a national emergency, which is possible under TRIPS. And third, the expedited registration for COVID treatment medicines was allowed by government resolution 441 in April last year, and it has recently been extended for another year. The expedited procedure allows submission of limited clinical data subject to subsequent post-registration monitoring by health authorities. On November 16, 2020, the government amended this resolution clarifying which documents need to be submitted as a part of the process and at the same time permits for the temporary circulation of unregistered medicines for the treatment of COVID-19 was also extended until January 1st, 2022. This is all for now. See you soon.